Hi, and welcome to week one of BSN 380 Healthcare Policy in the Nursing Professional. Our student competency this week is to develop an awareness of the need for healthcare policies to improve the provision of patient centered care related to the preference, culture, and abilities of individuals or families. The individual student outcomes are to explore the relationship between nursing and nurses to healthcare policy discuss a nursing leader's contribution to initiate health care policy, describe the Affordable Care Act enacted to provide patient-centered care, and also evaluate the Affordable Care Act that was enacted to provide patient-centered care. I'm sure that you can think of, and when you do your um, research for this, plenty of influential nurses. Here are just a few of the ones that I like. So, of course, we have Florence Nightingale who was the founder of nursing practice um, and also a big influencer in um, sterility and hand washing. Um, she pioneered a lot of the things that we do today. Dorothea Dix um, was um, revolutionary for her care of the mentally ill and Florence Wald was known as the mother of hospice. This book right here, Notes on Nursing, I think it was something that I had to read perhaps in grad school, but it's very interesting um, what Florence writes about nursing and how much it really has to do with what we are still doing today. So patient-centered care and the ACA. The concept of patient-centered care has been around for a while, but it wasn't until the ACA placed the financial incentives on it that providers really began to take notice. So under the ACA, hospitals now receive performance-based bonuses or penalties based on two main measures, value-based purchasing and readmission rates for specific diagnostic um, groups like MIs, heart failure, and pneumonia. Care that is truly patient-centered considers a patient's cultural traditions, their personal preferences and values, their family situations, and their lifestyles. It makes the patient and their loved ones an integral part of the care team who collaborate with healthcare professionals in making clinical decisions. When care is patient-centered, unneeded and unwanted services can be reduced. A healthcare system that's truly patient-centered may provide high-quality healthcare with greater efficiency while improving the patient experience. So interested in your thoughts on that, um, I look forward to reading the discussions and reading your papers. Please feel free to um, ask me any questions, either through email or through the email in Canvas or in the question and answer module in Canvas. Um, and don't be frightened by the big lists of some of the readings. Um, we put a lot of readings in. Um, you don't have to do them all, but we put a lot of readings in because sometimes for whatever reason in, um, in um, the web, some of these no longer work. So um, read what you can, find out what you can about healthcare policy and why it's important to nurses, and let's talk about it this week. Thanks. Have a good week. See you online.